Hey, what's up guys? I'm back here with another episode of best Android apps for this month. If you have not been through my previous episode, the link to it is in the description. So without taking much of your time, let's begin. The first app here is the Hover Browser. Hover Browser is a great way to experience web on your Android devices. As you can see, we have this floating window here. We can resize this or move this window by dragging this floating icon. And to minimize the window, Tap on this icon and tap it again to bring it back. So with this app, you can browse web while using other apps on your phone. From options, new window will bring up a new floating window as well as other browser settings. This app is capable of loading multiple pages. You can have as many pages as you want. And this app automatically changes the image of the icon according to the web page. Let's load apple.com on one tab and GSM Arena on the other and let's load Google on the third one. As you can see, we have Google, Apple and GSM Arena icon respectively. Tap on the view icon to shrink the web page. Tap it again to bring it back. You can tap here to view the web page on the full screen mode and you can close your tab from here. Another cool feature of this app that I find very handy and useful is that this app also supports Flash, which means you can stream and watch online videos. Let's load YouTube and let's play a video. As you can see, we have this floating video player. And the next cool thing is that you can minimize the tab and the audio is still playing in the background. Google likes to work on things that no one else is working on. Google's CEO as being an agent of change. Google has already changed the way we acquire information with search. It's changed how we consume media content. So this is a very cool feature if you listen a lot of music on YouTube. And the music is still playing even when you lock your device. So that's really great. So a great app for multitasking and web browsing. The next one here is Home Remedy. The name of the app is self-explanatory. This app is very useful in my opinion. As you can search for home remedies for various health issues. For example, here you have a long list of various problems like acne, allergies, black eye, burns, common cold, cough, dandruff, insomnia, and you know, a lot of problems. So you know, uh, among this, you know, there's a lot of things which we face on a day-to-day -day basis. So you know, it's good to tap onto this problem, any of the problem that you're facing and read out the tips. So it's good to have an idea on what you can do to cure yourself at home. Say for example, let's read out the tips on what you can do for acne. So over here you can, you know, you can see uh, the instructions. You can use orange peel. Again, you have this almond, you know, you can mix almond powder with a little water and apply the paste onto your face. Let it dry and then rinse it off. So you know, you have these basic kind of tips uh, for the problem. So it's very good to have these kind of application on your phone. So you know this kind of application is very handy if you want to give a suggestion to somebody or while you are traveling. The next one here is the Swift Key. Swift Key is a keyboard app that brings a very stylish and a customizable keyboard for your Android. As you can see, we have this stylish keyboard with a very cool layout. While we type using the glide feature, we get this stylish animation. The autocorrect capabilities is just amazing on this keyboard. This keyboard comes with all the goodies of the stock Android keyboard with options to change the keyboard layout that is thumb mode which is very handy while typing in the landscape mode or if you are using a tablet. And then you have this compact mode for typing with a single hand. You also can resize the keyboard according to your preferences. So different keyboard modes and option to resize the keyboard is a very handy feature to have. From settings, you get options to choose from various languages, which is very cool in my opinion. You know, you might sometimes use different languages so that you can switch to other languages if you want. You have got themes and layout sound and vibration etc. Each theme has its own unique look 
and the glide effect. So a great keyboard app with a lot of cool options which the stock keyboard does not offer. The next one here is the facets. Basically this is a wallpaper application. This is a paid app and I recommend you guys to buy this app and support the developer Justin Maller. You get amazing abstract wallpapers, you get different folders and inside which you get a lot of cool wallpapers as you can see here. You can browse through them, you have very unique designs, attractive wallpapers and all this work is just amazing. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to ask you what wallpaper are you using. So definitely take this app if you love wallpapers and want to make your phone look very different from others. To set the wallpaper you can just swipe up the image you want and then hit set wallpaper. And if you are facing issues with the resolution what you can do is first save the picture to your gallery and from there you can use that image for the wallpaper. The next app here is True Backup. True Backup is one of the best backup application for your Android without the root access. This app is minimal and is very easy to use. Just open this app and you get four different options for backup, restore, schedule your backups and view all your devices using this application. So choosing backup will first ask you for the backup media that means where you want your files to be backed up. I use Dropbox so I will be choosing Dropbox here. Now going back to the app, I will choose backup and then I will select the contents that I want to backup. Then tap on backup now. The process of the backup will be shown on this window and you can check the progress on the notification center as well. Choosing restore will give you option to choose the device you want to restore the backup from. Choosing my devices will give you the list of devices using this backup application. So if you want the content from one phone to the other phone, you can choose it from here. So this is again very handy. And guys, even I tried restoring my SMS and stuff, it worked brilliant. So basically the advantage with this app is that you can backup your files on your SD card. You can change the uh, backup media to SD card and save that backed up file on your PC. So that whenever you want to restore, you can just copy the backup file on your phone and then use this app to restore it. On settings, you can change your connection settings, notification settings and switch backup media. So a great app for backing up and restoring your device. The next app here is Versus. This is a very simple app for comparing devices with very easy to use user interface. You can compare smartphones, DSLRs and a lot of other products. Say for example, Comparing the Galaxy Note 3 to the HTC One M8. Once you are done, tap compare. Over here you get the image for both the devices. And if you scroll to the side, you have top features of the Note 3 as in the main regions to get the Note 3. And scrolling to the other side, you will get top features for the M8. So you know, you can quickly get the highlights of these devices. You know, the spatial features, the positives. And not only for the smartphones, you can compare DSLRs and other products as well. So guys, it's very easy to quickly compare any of the two products and get to know more about the products with this app. Very handy for basic comparison. The next one here is the cleaner. The cleaner is a simple app that cleans memory and storage of your Android device. As we all know, when we use different apps on our phone, a lot of unwanted files or say junk files take up the storage and memory of our phone. We even have a lot of unwanted apps running on the background. So with this app, you can clean memory and clear all the junk files on your storage with ease. With a very simple UI, all you need to do is choose between clearing the memory and storage. So you can tap this circle to analyze and then you can clean. And this icon here brings you to the recommendation of the featured app. You can go to settings to choose when to scan your phone 
and choose between different themes that you have to buy from the Play Store. This app also comes with two very useful widgets. One is for boosting the memory instantly and the other one is to scan the storage for the junk files. So a great app for optimizing your phone. The next app here is Double Twist. Double Twist is a great multimedia player for your phone. Most of the apps are capable of playing only the music files or playing the video files at once. But with this app, all your music, videos are shown in one place. Not just the music and a video player, this app can even search for podcasts and online radios. When you start this app, you get all your albums in a grid view. You can change it to the list view by tapping here. The add button gives you an option to add features to this app. You can tap on the search icon to search through your music. Below that you have a now playing screen minimized here. And options to share, rate and go to settings etc. We have this slider menu for going to artists, playlists, all songs and genres. Below that we have online radio, podcasts, saved videos etc. Next we have options to add features to this app like AirSync for Apple. Uh, this is one of the coolest features that allows us to sync our media files from iTunes wirelessly. Alarm clock and so on. On settings we can enable or disable the lock screen. Give device a name, storage settings, player settings and so on. So guys all these features are not free you need to pay for them for example the air sync and equalizers etc. You also get a very stylish lock screen widget with this app as well as variety of widgets for your music player so that you can place it on your home screen and control your music player via the widget. So a great app to experience multimedia on your device. The next one here is Blims. With this app installed you can use your phone while you are making a call. Like when we answer our calls all we do is tap answer and place it to our ear or we put it on the speaker and continue to use the phone. While we use our phone, we have to drag down the notification center to get back to the call screen to end the call or for other controls. With this app, you get a floating icon for ending the call and putting your call on a loudspeaker. So if you are using a headphone or a Bluetooth for calling, you can end them without having to go to the notification center or the call screen to end the call. No matter where you are or what you are doing on your phone, you can end the call with these floating icons. Back to the app, we have different options to enable or disable the speaker and the end call blims. We can disable the whole app from here. So guys, this app can come very handy in various situations. Say for example while driving. The last one for today's episode is the Jet Archiver. Jet Archiver is a file manager for your Android. This app lets you manage your files and your folders. But not just managing the files. The main feature of this app is that this app lets you create and extract compressed files and folders. When you start this app, you get all your files and folders in a list view. We have the regular controls for our files like multiple files as in select multiple files, folders, compress, extract, cut, copy and so on. We can create folders and archive by tapping here. So to create a compressed file out of a file or a folder, tap and hold on any folder you want to compress and then choose compress to .zip or .7z format or tap on compress to choose different directory and protect your compressed file with a password. We can view the information and we have other controls for the file or folder. To extract a compressed file, navigate to wherever you have the compressed file, tap on it and choose view to view file. Extract here, extract to or extract to choose different directory for the extracted file. So a very handy app for compressed files and folders. So that's our app guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I will be coming up with more app videos very soon. Stay tuned for that and you guys have a great time.